What has become of this city? There used to be laws. Justice. Not anymore. Crime is out of control. Cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey! Who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa! Whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, ma'am. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah.
where it's gonna hit you. Wow! Did you see? 
see that? The king's amazing! Maybe there's a way in through the garage! Well, okay, news bag is searching skillful, warrior! Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realm. Holy fuck, that is amazing! Speak, bard! What happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean! Lies! You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish! Unhand him, you heathens! Release the bard or you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow! That's right! And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> Wizard is gone. My name is the King. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That... That sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Oopsikins! There's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert! Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. Hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. Yes, officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's Fuck. not hot, but you, my son Mom. told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he did tell me. Maybe we should go to Raisins and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anywhere. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human Kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast Pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on the, the Fast Pass to get there today. Excuse me. Super Craig. Super Craig, this is Coon. Do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, great. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so fuck off, okay? Uh, all right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. Oh, 
Well, that took long enough. Is the furnace device active? <laughs> you really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Koonstagram. Do you have a Koonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Koonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable, let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of- Netherborn. Netherborn, feeling dead inside us. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your netherborn powers. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Koonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. Yes, I've heard of those. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'll see you on the internet. Got it open. You're the real deal, little superhero. A, a selfie? Sure, kid, let's do it. Okay, nice. Okay, I guess you're popular enough to selfie with. We're friends now, I guess. Well, I guess we have enough mutuals that we can selfie. Not bad, Butho. You're gaining followers pretty fast. Keep up the good work. I'm still having trouble reaching some of the Kuhn friends. You might want to see what's going on. Okay, we can get a selfie together. 
Cool, we follow each other now. Who would do such a thing? It's just so mean. Hey, kid, you know anything about this? Somebody's keying my wife's car at night. It's happening every night. I thought it was just one of you damn kids, but we'll... Here, come here, take a look at this. Whoever's scratching the car is also leaving notes. I'm just scared it's a jilted lover or something. You won't forget me that easy. I thought we had something. I'll tell the world about you, bitch. Listen, I'm sick of having to buff this shit out. If you can catch whoever's keying my wife's car tonight, I'll follow you on Coonstagram. Trust me, you want me as a follower. I'm a pretty big deal in this town. Ah, I see you've made it to the Palace of the Clouds. That's home base to human kite. Perhaps you can find him inside. Human kite from another universe is behind this door. I can't fight him for obvious reasons, you know, alternative universe paradox shit. So you are going to have to take him out. You've gotta really kick his ass, dude, so that he wants to return back to his universe on the East Coast. You ready? All right, go get him. Uh, zoom. Oh, hey, Kyle, I'm big. Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? All right, me from another universe, it is time for you to go back to your universe. What do you mean, Kyle? We're a team, remember? I'm not from another universe. We're like best super pals. <laughs> As you can see, he is the one running around giving the human kite a bad name. He was sent here to destroy me and weaken my power. No, no, I came to spend two weeks with my cousin and wanted to play superheroes. And then he said, okay, what superhero do you want to be? And I said, I want to be human kite. But he said, you can't be human kite. I'm human kite. And I said, well, why can't we be human kites together? So I went to Aunt Sheila and I said, I want to be human kite together. And she told him he had to do what I said because I was the guest. Remember? I'm sorry, me from another universe, but it is time for you to learn that playing superheroes is too painful. New kid, you must now destroy my alter ego. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna fight? That's right. If you really want to play, then this is how you do it. Well, all right. Anything to make me and my cousin more alike. Prepare for battle, weakling. <laughs> I haven't done a whole lot of sparring. Is this a no contact thing? Full contact, not sparring. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I didn't bring my pants. It's happening. Get him, new kid. Cousin Kyle, we can beat him if we join forces. Yeah, I really like the parallel universe rules say I can. <laughs> hey, take it easy, Tiger. I bruise very easily. Oh my, there's a lot of decisions in this game, aren't there? You could not play. That's a decision you could make. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, you guys, time out. My vertigo is starting to act up. Jesus, come on, dude. Oh, I'm gonna need to tell Aunt Sheila about that one. Okay, I think my inner ear fluids have stabilized now. Uh, that last hit didn't count, right? I'm undoing that damage, okay, Kyle? Ah, <sighs> That's some classic alternate universe bullshit. 
Hold on, I need a timeout so I can use my inhaler. <laughs> Cousin Kyle, I called a timeout and he didn't listen. You know my asthma flares up when I exert myself. Yeah, I think this would be a lot more fair if I had a shield. Some kind of shield, like a like the safer Torah, which also has a great sentimental value. Dude, human kite is an alien. There's no Jewish stuff involved. And you can't just make up powers in the middle of a battle. I'm not making it up. It's totally canon in my alternate universe. Phew. Wait, I thought I should get this turn instead of the new kid because he didn't wait when I said time out earlier, so I think it should be my turn now. Are you kidding me? That's totally cheating. Oh, geez, I didn't think I'd actually hit you. All right, here we go, my super ultimate power. Get ready. Are you ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay, Wrath Kite from an alternate universe. really hurts. I better go back to my universe. Oh, you're leaving? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be going back to my universe now, human kite. I need some camphophenic for my ear because I got a scrape on it by being farted on. Dude, I don't know how to thank you. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. But Lord, those are sixth graders. They're the most vile, evil beings known to superheroes. You guys are stupid. Everyone knows Keeper's mom has the nicest boobs. Dude, shut up about my mom's boobs, bro. Why don't you make me? When I finish kicking your butt, I'm gonna kick your stupid frog butt. Frogs don't help us, they help Qualica. Kite's got your back. From the sky swoops justice. Is it too late to talk this out? Shut up, wuss! Yes, that was awesome! It's my turn now! Ew, so gross! Beware, evil, for from the sky comes a kite! No to kicking some fourthy ass. Titty twister! Oh. Have your boyfriend massage that for you. Oh, I'm up? Okay. <laughs> now that's how you get the third degree. Please don't die, new kid. Nothing else beating on you guys is really therapeutic for me. Ah! Hang in there, new kid. Feel the wrath of human ice. Ugh. Welcome to Laser Town. Wow, you're so brave. For Forthy's 
scum, you guys are kind of scrappy. Ha! I totally know how that feels. All evil fears the lasers of Kai. Wow, you really beat him. You saved me. You really want a selfie with me? <laughs> Watching you defeat that sixth grader was so cool. Maybe I can become as strong as you one day. Soon you will be approaching Super Craig's Fortress of Solitude. Super Craig hasn't checked in. I hope nothing's wrong. Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. We should start in the basement. That's the last place I saw him. We should start in the basement. That's the last place I saw him. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy here? Nope. Collect more yaoi for my dad and then I'll consider it. Nope. Collect more yaoi for my dad and then I'll consider it. We should start in the basement. That's the last place I saw him. I'm thinking maybe he smelled it. I'll stand by the stairs and keep him from it. Oh, sweet. Those might be handy. You're welcome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do it again. Whoa, there he goes. Follow that guinea pig. Stripe's hiding behind that garbage over there. You just smashed that box like it was nothing. Amazing! Quick, hit that box as well as shit! I can't believe you just did that! You're so good at this! Wow, that looked like it required so much skill. Stripe, a brilliant rescue, but it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. Hey there, are you one of Craig's friends? You looking for Craig? Me? Let's just say I'm an art collector specializing in a delightfully modern and extremely confusing Asian art form known as Yaoi. Crazy, right? But this stuff is worth a fortune to the right buyer. If in your adventures you find any of these, bring them to me. I will reward you handsomely. Come back with any new pieces you find. Not bad, new kid, not bad. Way to go out and get some followers on Instagram. I think you're ready for the next level. Head back to the Coon Lair. Coon? Stop! New kid, stop! You see all those little red Lego bricks? That's lava. You try and cross lava, you die. Don't even touch it. Wait, this, this doesn't even make sense. Who would put lava there? <laughs> Take that, Coon Fred. Professor Chaos. That's right, Coon. I have strategically placed lava throughout the town. I can't make it too easy for you. What good is the world without a little chaos? <laughs> okay, turn it off now.
We'll deal with chaos when the time is right. For now, we have to keep our eye on the prize. Coon, out. Now watch this, bro. This one I learned from Usher, bitches. You tampons can't even step to this shit. Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, there you are, butthole. Being a superhero is a little harder than you thought, huh? It's okay, you totally suck, but I can't help but feel sorry for you. Because your dad fucked your mom when you were a child. Come this way. I'm gonna teach you about artifacts. You see, most superheroes augment their abilities with specialized equipment. You see this? It's a strength artifact. <laughs> You'll find things like these all over town. The trick is to equip them into your artifact slots. Go on, give it a shot. Every artifact has a specific place it can be slotted on your body. Equip this one to boost your strength stats. Be a little uncomfortable at first. Your DNA is fusing with it. You'll find more artifacts out there during your superhero adventures. You can even craft your own. Just remember, with great power comes great chicks and money. I think you're ready to take on those sixth graders now. Go give them hell. You. I'm super Craig. Stupid Craig? I said fuck you. Go nuts, new kid. Man, we kicked some sixth grade ass. Okay, that was pretty badass. We make a good team. New kid, because now the sixth graders are going to be coming after you. You probably should have done that. That was pretty stupid. Kano, go and get our franchise more followers. Haha, <laughs> you'll never get in here, super fool. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You didn't fill out your kryptonite. So, what, you're invincible? There's no way. That's against the rules. You have to have a weakness. <sighs> go find Mosquito. He can help you out. I'll put the rest of the character sheet stuff on your map. Now, get out there and do some superhero missions. 
That's the only way to fill out your character sheet. Congratulations, new kid. Your fast travel system is fully oper operate. Uh, uh, good to go. Find more stations to expand your network. And when you get into trouble, Fast Pass will be there. Bye. How great the undead are. Who to torment? I choose you. for you in middle school. Hey, don't look, you gay wads. Time to fly. Yes. Enjoy your final moments. I feel like I did a good deed. to get lasered. Enjoy your new kite phobia, conformist. Get out of the way! It's my fat sister's turn! Wow, real mature.
right, new kid. Channel your rage. Dabagoo, evildoers! Be right back! Go forth and make friends! Topsy turvy time, twerps! Yeah! <laughs> Woe is you. Bow down to chaos or pay the price, slave! Check your watch, crime. It's kite time! No one wears watches anymore! You might feel intense burning! Hell Satan! Don't say I never gave you anything. You're no match for my master! You're up, Ass Blaster! I like the way you lash out. Life is pain. Oh, I'm up? Okay. And stay down! You little conformists feel good about yourselves? You look better without eyebrows. Only madness and chaos await you! Give him hell, douchebag! Sure, I take like 10 selfies a day. Okay, sure. Sweet! Yay, thanks! Okay, but no screwing around. Well, okay then. Okay, now don't go screwing around. Oh, hi, you're the new kid, right? Oh, great, thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid, it's it's really simple. When uh when you want to talk about your sex, you simply you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm I'm a boy or a girl or other. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now a, uh, I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short, okay? So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Uh, 
Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Let's just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and, well, he's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't, you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love. Even if you're a guy who happens to like titties. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Oh my god, I have so much homework tonight. Well, well, well. If it ain't a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. I'm gonna punch you straight, just like I did Dale that one night in 94. Oh, here we go. That's hardcore goth. Who wants a taste of my sweet berry? Ah! Uh, uh, you are neither minty nor refreshing. America, love it or get your ass kicked, socialist. Yeah. As an expert on pain, that looked painful. I'm not the only one who's damaged. I'll whoop you like your daddy never done. Yeehaw! Quit sucking so hard. Forecast 100% chance of kite attack. Maybe you shouldn't be so flammable. Uh, You're a kid after my own black heart. to the patriarchy. Don't try too hard, butthole. These idle workers should be thankful we gave them an activity.
Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before, but you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're teepeeing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the hard sell, but do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. 